5. Easy morning habits to do when you wake up to have an amazing life. Did you know that small adjustments to your morning routine can completely transform your health and well-being? Ever wondered why some people seem to have unlimited energy throughout the day? And what is their secret? Today we're going to explore five unconventional morning habits that surprisingly can define your life. Imagine waking up with more gratitude. Have you ever stopped to think about the impact this can have on your body and mind? It's not just a matter of mindset, but a practice that can reduce stress levels and even strengthen the immune system. Curious to know how? Stay with us until the end and discover how something as simple as drinking water when you wake up can speed up your metabolism and improve your digestive health. What if I told you that sunbathing in the morning can improve your mood and even strengthen your bones? Stay tuned because we are going to reveal all these secrets. Let's get started. In the morning, we have an abundance of willpower and throughout the day, this strength diminishes. Therefore, it is important to start the day with your mind charged to the maximum and think about what you should do to have a good day. The first habit is, perhaps spiritual, to be grateful the moment we wake up. Thinking about being grateful for something the moment we wake up has good medical reasons. It has been proven to have a significant positive impact, both mentally and physically. Firstly, it reduces stress hormones. Stress hormones, known as cortisol, are reduced by the emotion of gratitude, decreasing their production, which means it has the effect of lowering your stress level. The level of cortisol is related to the degree of chronic stress, and it is known that long-term high levels of cortisol are associated with cardiovascular diseases and immunosuppression. Therefore, by feeling gratitude in the morning, it is possible to reduce the level of cortisol, starting the day more relaxed and with less stress. So having feelings of gratitude is also directly linked to strengthening the immune system. Strengthening the immune system has positive effects, as reported in research. Increasing resistance against disease and maintaining daily immunity, including gratitude first thing in the morning, is very important. Additionally, this is also known to help balance the autonomic nervous system. Feeling gratitude activates nerves related to bone exchange, helping to balance the autonomic nervous system. This helps to stabilize your heart rate, blood pressure, and allows you to start the day in a relaxed way. Another important habit to have in the morning is drinking water. While we sleep, we all become dehydrated. It is natural to lose fluids during the hours when we are not drinking or eating. Through breathing and sweating, we lose even more fluids. So drinking water in the morning helps to correct the body's dehydration state. Drinking water in the morning dilutes the blood and improves circulation, reducing the risk of cardiovascular diseases. Naturally, this also contributes to reducing the risk of cardiovascular disease. Even if you don't realize it, drinking water actually has the effect of boosting your metabolism and activating it. I think there are people who don't know this, but studies show that drinking water increases basal metabolism. When you drink water, the body does not need to increase the temperature as much, so when drinking water, the body decreases the temperature a little, which leads to energy consumption to heat the water. Studies report that drinking about 500 milliliters of water increases the metabolic rate by about 30%. This effect begins about 10 minutes after drinking water and reaches a maximum around 30 to 40 minutes later. Therefore, do not underestimate the thermal effect of water. Drinking 2 liters of water throughout the day increases energy expenditure by 400 kilojoules. Drinking water first thing in the morning improves and increases metabolism, promoting greater energy expenditure throughout the day, which naturally helps a lot with diet and weight control. Furthermore, drinking water first thing in the morning has the effect of renewing digestive function and improving the intestinal environment. Drinking water first thing in the morning allows you to stimulate the intestine, which is known as pre-bowel movement, and stimulates intestinal function. Stimulating the intestine in this way also naturally improves intestinal function and adjusts the intestinal environment, which can alter the state of intestinal health and consequently increase immunity. As I mentioned earlier, drinking water first thing in the morning not only rehydrates, but also has many benefits for the body's overall health, such as speeding up metabolism and blood circulation. 
If possible, it's best to add lemon juice or apple cider vinegar to your water in the morning for even more benefits. The third healthy habit in the morning is to go out as early as possible to get some fresh air. Especially on sunny days, receiving sunlight in the morning has medically proven benefits, being extremely healthy. The first benefit is to adjust the body's circadian rhythm, that is, the internal cycles of activity. Receiving sunlight resets the body's internal and external circadian rhythms. When taking in sunlight in the morning, the production of the sleep hormone melatonin is reduced, allowing the body to recognize that it is time to wake up. At the same time, serotonin is released, helping to stabilize daytime activities. This cycle also affects the quality of nighttime sleep, so getting sunlight in the morning can help improve insomnia and other sleep disorders. Furthermore, when receiving sunlight, the body synthesizes vitamin D naturally. The sun's UVB rays stimulate the production of vitamin D in the skin, bringing benefits to the body. So you need to really expose it to the skin. Wear long sleeves and long pants, and it is better to expose with the sleeves rolled up rather than just the face, because vitamin D is essential to help with calcium absorption, maintain bone health, strengthen the immune system, prevent infections and control inflammations. Therefore, to reduce the risk of osteoporosis and decreased immunity, moderate sun exposure is extremely important. Furthermore, exposure to sunlight contributes to improving mental health. As I mentioned earlier, when serotonin levels increase, mood improves. Stabilizing serotonin is crucial to preventing depression and anxiety disorders, particularly at this time of year when seasonal mood disorders such as SAD are recognized as illnesses and exposure to sunlight is essential in preventing mood problems, mental health. Furthermore, surprisingly, exposure to sunlight has a lowering effect on blood pressure. This is because another type of solar radiation, UVA rays, releases nitric oxide from the skin, which leads to the dilation of blood vessels. Therefore, physiologically, when a person is exposed to sunlight, cardiovascular health improves and blood pressure decreases. Furthermore, sunlight has the effect of regulating body temperature and acts as a solar regulator, which means that when the sun shines on the body, the temperature temporarily increases, leading to an increase in energy consumption. Thus, exposure to the sun during the day helps maintain performance throughout the day increasing concentration and work efficiency. Therefore, it is important to consider how to expose the body to sunlight. Fourth, as a habit, set aside 10 minutes in the morning to do weight training or walk. Especially, the 10 minutes before breakfast are very important. Regarding the importance of moving before breakfast, do you know why it is recommended? Studies show that exercising before eating helps promote fat burning. Therefore, exercising before breakfast means that levels of glycogen, the sugar stored in the body, are lower, which makes it easier to burn fat during exercise. Consequently, research shows that people who exercise before breakfast have a greater ability to oxidize and break down fat throughout the day, making it more likely that the body will utilize fat as an energy source throughout the day. So, when you exercise on an empty stomach before breakfast, a hormonal reaction occurs, understand. What this means is that, for example, after exercise, insulin levels decrease and triglyceride synthesis levels decrease. In addition, the insulin reaction improves significantly. Insulin sensitivity improves, as shown in studies. Exercising before meals has an appetite-regulating effect, especially according to research. Exercising on an empty stomach controls energy intake, reducing daily energy intake without compromising energy consumption during the day. In short, it's more likely that when you move, you'll end up eating less. However, this is a bit contradictory, as it is a fact that some people feel hungrier after exercising. Therefore, it is important to consider your own type, as exercising too much can increase your appetite, so it is important to pay attention to this. And finally, the fifth healthy habit that I would like to recommend is actually, for those who eat breakfast, is to not eat it at work. And many people may think that they don't have time in the morning, so they end up eating after work and before going to the office, but I think it's actually something that should be avoided, especially for those who work sitting all day, 
barely moving after a meal, starting the day with breakfast, and then moving is not very desirable in terms of blood sugar levels. Because they don't move, the food that has been consumed is often little used, which causes blood sugar levels to rise quickly and take time to fall, which can result in persistent spikes. Because they don't move, it's easier to maintain high blood sugar levels for prolonged periods. This can lead to the development of insulin resistance and, at the same time, trigger reactive episodes of hypoglycemia when insulin is released too quickly. Consequently, it is more common for blood sugar levels to drop after meals in the morning. And what happens then? A state of sudden drowsiness may reoccur when blood sugar levels drop abruptly. Therefore, it is essential to remember that after meals, the basic principle is to move. After meals, moving involves doing intense exercise. Even if it's just the image of moving your body, it can help control spikes in blood sugar and reduce the time it takes to return to normal blood sugar levels. Therefore, if you are going to have breakfast, it is better to exercise at home before going to work, because by moving, you can reduce the spike in blood sugar and accelerate the normalization of blood sugar levels. Of course, for those who perform physical work, it is okay to move around after eating. However, especially for those who work in an office, I think it's best to avoid eating at work and spend the day sitting. Above, there are five, right? When you think about doing, there are many things you can't do unless you do them intentionally. But regarding these five things, I think it would be good if you could do them in the necessary state. These are really simple things, but in the long run, they change the body's health condition a lot. So please try. If this content was useful to you today, please click the high rating button, follow the channel.